Hello friends, today we are going to study about the atypical mycobacteria. By atypical, I mean the non-tubercular mycobacteria. Differentiation between mycobacterium tuberculosis and the atypical mycobacteria is based on some chemical tests. The important ones are remembered as A and P. Aryl sulfatase, niacin and peroxidase. While aryl sulfatase is positive for atypical mycobacteria, niacin and peroxidase are positive for mycobacterium TB. The atypical mycobacteria are further classified according to the Runyon's classification. This classification groups them into slow growing and fast growing, rapid growing atypical mycobacteria. By rapid growing I mean those which take less than 7 days to grow on a culture. The slow growing atypical mycobacteria are further classified as photochromogens which synthesize pigment in the presence of light, scotochromogens which synthesize pigments irrespective of light. So not necessarily dark, just irrespective of light and the non-chromogens don't synthesize any pigments. The photochromogens can be remembered as Asian semi in a is a marine in consist. Mycobacterium asiaticum, Mycobacterium semi, Mycobacterium marinum, and Mycobacterium cansesi. Mycobacterium marinum is known to cause fish tank granulomas granulomas as the name suggests mycobacterium cancersi uh, presents as an infection similar to that of mycobacterium tb moving forward to the scotochromogens which synthesize pigments irrespective of light the examples are ssg Mycobacterium zulgai, Mycobacterium scrofulaceum, and Mycobacterium gordoni. As the name suggests, scrofulaceum, lymph nodes of the cervical region in English, and gordon, cervical region in Hindi. There is nothing special about these three uh, except for the fact that, as the name says, Mycobacterium scrofulaceum infects lymph nodes of neck. Coming to the non-chromogens, the examples include Mycobacterium xenopi, Mycobacterium ulcerans and Mycobacterium avium complex. Mycobacterium ulcerans is known to cause Broly ulcer. Broly ulcer are caused by the exotoxin mycolyticum, sorry mycolactone mycolactone. Note that mycobacterium ulcerans is the only mycobacteria to synthesize exotoxins. Even mycobacterium TB does not synthesize any endo or exotoxin. It simply acts by the virulence factors which are the cord factor and the lipoarabinomanin. These virulence factors inhibit the phagolysomal fusion and that's how the mycobacterium tuberculosis acts. So mycobacterium ulcerans here is an exception in secreting exotoxin. Mycobacterium avium complex well known to cause pneumonia. Also of note is that mycobacterium indica prani another name for this is being used for synthesis of leprosy vaccine anti-leprosy vaccine. Coming to the rapid growing mycobacteria, we have Mycobacterium chelonii, Mycobacterium abscesses, Mycobacterium flei, Mycobacterium sphagmatis, and Mycobacterium fortusium, which is also known as the turtle or frog tubercle bacilli. It is known to cause nail, salen. Furunculosis. 
coming to the disease caused by ATM. Uh, most of the diseases as we can already see are either cutaneous or involving the lymph nodes. Most commonly involving the pulmonary region is mycobacterium avium complex. Cutaneous infections are caused by mycobacterium ulcerans and mycobacterium marinum. Lymph node infections are caused by mycobacterium scrofulation. That's all about atypical mycobacteria.